Good day. Welcome to On His Authority, a YouTube channel dedicated to preaching, teaching, and uh, music, gospel music, uh, on the authority of God and His Word. Very soon we're going to be starting a book study on the book of Galatians, and today I just kind of want to introduce the book to us, take a few minutes, and talk about four things to get us kind of set for our study of Galatians. First of all, I want to talk about who the author of Galatians is. And verse 1 of the first chapter talks about that Paul is the author of Galatians. This is the same Paul who was Saul. He was converted in Acts chapter number 9 on the road to Damascus. Paul becomes the apostle to the Gentiles. Now, Peter is the apostle to the Jews, but Paul is the apostle sent to the Gentiles. And you're going to find that in Galatians 2, 7. Paul is sent all over the world where he does his missionary journeys to see Jews be, or excuse me, to see Gentiles be saved. He plants a lot of churches and he wrote this book to the churches in Galatia. Second of all, I want to talk about the recipients of this letter, and that would be the churches of Galatia. So Galatia is not a city, it was a region in Asia Minor, and the name comes from the people group that settled there. They were called the Gauls. They were from around the France area, they migrated down to what is today Turkey, and they settled the area known as Galatia. There were four churches in this region there were Antioch, Iconium, Lystra, and Derby, and it's believed that each one of those churches was planted by Paul himself to receive the letter. Third, I want to talk about the background of this book. So the, re the, the background of this book is that Judaizers had come from Judah to Galatia, from namely Jerusalem to the area of Galatia to these churches. So what, what's a Judaizer? Well, a Judaizer taught that for a Gentile to be saved, they must first be circumcised. That is, that for a Gentile to become a Christian, they must first become a Jew. That Gentiles must submit to the customs of the law before they can become true Christians. That's, that's why we call them Judaizers, because they, they are for the Jewish law. Acts chapter 15 shows that the Judaizers had already caused a stir in Jerusalem. And so what happens is that a council is called and the apostles have to settle the issue. So Peter, Barnabas, and Paul, they each spoke out on the issue in this chapter and, and they put it in James as the one that kind of sums it up and puts it to rest, being the pillar of the Jerusalem church. The Gentiles are not under the law. Christians are free. But, but James warns them not to flaunt their freedom in front of the Jews. Don't violate a brother's conscience. Abstain from the meat sacrificed to idols because the Jews can't handle that yet. So it seems that once this was settled in Jerusalem, the Judaizers had to go spread their teaching in other locations, one of which is Galatia. And then fourth and finally, the reason for the letter. So Galatia had been eaten up by the Judaizers' teachings. They were buying into it on the belief that the Judaizers had been sent from James. This is the same James from Acts chapter 15 who had condemned this teaching. But apparently word of that hadn't made it to Galatia yet, or had and they ignored it. Paul is extremely upset by this. If he was the one to have planted these churches, then he has a personal stake in their spiritual well-being. We, we know from those of us that read the New Testament, Paul never suffers a false teacher to be in his churches. In this letter, he's quite upset with the foolishness of the Galatians and their weakness in being shifted to the wrong way of thinking. He defends the decision of the Jerusalem Council, as we call it now, which in reality is the decision of God himself as he proclaimed to Peter, as he proclaimed to Paul, 
as the New Testament proclaims being breathed out by God. And Paul in Galatians writes about the inability of the law to save. That salvation comes by grace and grace alone. So probably not next week, but the week after we will begin the study in the book of Galatians. I would like for you to read Galatians chapter 1 verses 1 through 10. Galatians 1, 1 through 10. And I will see you in a few weeks.